It's time to verify. Friend or foe, a pest no less. The carpenter bee is all the buzz this summer as it carves itself a home right in the middle of your new deck. But could there be more than meets the eye? I saw this post making the rounds on Facebook. Pauline commented, their damage is minimal. Please don't kill something for the damage you imagine they might do. Research their behavior first. They are actually quite beneficial. So let's verify. Our sources are the North Carolina State Cooperative Extension and Frank Fowler, biologist and wildlife division manager at Forshaw. Both conclude, yes, the bees have great benefits. Yes, I did say beneficial. They are great pollinators. Um, they do burrow into wood, which can cause a problem on decks or, or uh, the side of a house, um, but they don't eat wood. They're only excavating that nest site out to raise their young. Carpenter bees are among America's 4,000 native bee species. They look like bumblebees, but carpenter bees have shiny, not fuzzy abdomens and usually hang out around fence posts or siding. Carpenter bees emerge in April and May and are solitary critters who don't form colonies to make their nests. A pregnant female bee will carve out an entrance hole in the wood. She'll then make a little tunnel of galleries where she stores pollen nectar balls to feed her offspring. She's a busy bee to say the least, so is unlikely to give you the time of day. The carpenter bee female has a stinger, but they're solitary bees, so they're not going to aggressively defend that nest and the risk of getting stung is very, very small. The male has a white dot between his eyes that you can see very uh, clearly and and they don't um, they don't even have a stinger. So carpenter bees are the bees knees. It's true. They are very beneficial. They pollinate flowers, helping grow food and cause only small damage to wood. The cooperative extension warns even painted, treated and pungent woods like cedar can attract carpenter bees. And because they don't eat the wood, insecticides might not work. The best way to keep them out of your wood without harming them is by giving them an alternate place to nest. You can buy or build a carpenter bee house. Just make sure it's not a bee trap. You can help stop the spread of misinformation. If you see a claim or a story that needs to be verified, send a selfie video or paragraph to verify at WFMY.com.